Hours away from the opening ceremony, some secrets are still locked away. Who lights the cauldron? How and where is Peng Shuai? Australian tennis fans among those globally worried about the three-time Olympian who wrote a November essay about being sexually assaulted by a former vice premier of China. The tennis player then largely disappeared from view. Will she be at the opening ceremony as well? Uh, I'm not sure because she's not from Beijing. I, I, I really don't know. Shi Li Zhe, who goes by Lily, will be there. An extraordinary sailor, Olympic champion who won bronze here in 2008, gold in London. She spends a lot of time helping athletes cope with pressures and she's a friend of Peng Shuai. We kept contact on our Chinese WeChat and then um, I don't know how those negative news come out to the Western world, but to me she's leading a very free life, a very normal life. But is she? For weeks, there was no sign of Peng Shuai, her online presence in China seemingly sanitized. To look her up here on China's most common search engine, Baidu, the most recent entries end in 2018. But when much of the outside world started asking questions of her fate, Peng Shuai appeared in heavily choreographed moments and an interview where she said she's fine, everything's fine, she didn't mean what she claimed. This is her in December, invited to watch skiing with Olympic hero Yao Ming, and right there, Lily. Both later publicly brushing aside all concerns, as Lily did with us. And is she surprised, or are you surprised by the, the level of concern around the world? Yeah, she seems to be uh, very, very surprised and then a bit not sure what to do. But she's just hoping that the trend can cease, can stop. And then um, she's hoping that people around the world who's concerned for her, knowing that she's very well. So the problem with attempts to reassure is they don't. When the IOC president did a video call with Peng Shuai, then declared there was nothing to worry about, human rights activists were mad. Then the IOC did it again. The first time it happened, I assumed it was naivety, I thought it was ignorance, and even though I was concerned, I wasn't angry. But the second time they did the same thing, it was so clearly uh, an, an organization that's been compromised. Peter Dahlin runs a human rights organization, works with those detained in China, wrote an open letter saying the IOC shutting down the questions is dangerous. Uh, and when they said that they did this to ensure her safety, uh, that's when I really went went off the rails, to be honest. They are hurting, not helping her. And so, to the IOC president, Thomas Bach, the questions. He says he'll meet with Peng Shuai here in person soon, but what more is the IOC doing for her? Uh, she wants uh, to have uh, their uh, in, in inquiry. Of course, we would also you know, support her in, in this, but it, it must be her decision. It's her life, it's uh, her allegations. Hard to know how free Peng Shuai will be to talk in that moment. And of the opening ceremony that will celebrate Olympians, will she be among them, regardless of what she wants? The world just has to watch and keep watching.